the limited stuff that you did? I think things went well. Uh, I improved on everything I did at the combine except for the vertical, but I felt like overall it was a great day, another great opportunity, and I had fun. Do you feel good about what you did at the combine? You feel overall that you've done what you need to show people what you can do? Yeah, I mean, I feel like um, I just wanted to look good athletically and move around well, and I feel like I did that. Um, at the combine, I put up more reps on 225 than I think most people thought I would, so I was happy with that. What kind of work have you been doing to get into that kind of shape that you're trying to get into? I mean, it's been a lot of hard work, but it's just uh, work geared towards the specific drills. Um, I'm definitely not in football shape, and I could tell during the O-line specific drills we did today, but now's the time. All the testing's over, and now it's just the time to get in football shape. Is it kind of overwhelming knowing this? you've worked so hard to get to this point, and now it's here that the draft's a month away? Yeah, it's crazy how fast this whole process has gone uh, from the combine to pro day and the next thing is a draft and then just right into mini camps, OTAs and training camps. So it's just one thing after the next. What kind of feedback are you getting from uh, from scouts that are working you out and seeing you? Um, most scouts like the way I move. Um, they like how much I've gotten a little bigger since the end of the season. They like that. Um, basically, they just say my film will speak for itself and I feel like I have three solid years of playing under my belt and so... Um, I can just control what's in my power and uh, everything else is up to whoever wants to draft me. From what you're hearing, what do you think realistic expectations are in the draft for you? You know, I really don't think too much about that. I just hope I get a chance to be drafted. Um, that's been a goal of mine my whole life. And then after I get drafted, no matter where I'm drafted, um, next off is making the team and working my butt off to show that I belong, that uh, I deserve to be there. So overall, do you feel like you helped yourself today? Yeah, I feel like I helped myself. Um, I improved best on the broad jump, which I think was uh, beneficial to show my, my lower body power. Uh, and then just moving around, uh, hopefully I looked athletic. That was the goal today. And I feel like uh, I did all I could. A lot of emphasis is put on 40 times, but that can't be the case for offensive linemen. What, what are the drills that you guys really focus on? So for offensive linemen, uh, the short shuttle and three cone drill are good because it shows ability to change direction and sink your hips. Um, bench press obviously shows your muscle endurance. And then just uh, O-line drills, coaches seeing how you move around in actual football specific drills. So. Can you talk more specifically about your training regimen since you graduated from BYU and what you've done to prepare for this day? So I, I trained down at a place called Fisher Sports in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, Brett Fisher runs and uh, owns and runs the place. His speed coach, Will Sullivan, uh, worked with us on the speed part of the training. And then David Diaz Infante, who played for several years in the NFL, uh, worked with us on O-line specific drills. So that's where I was up until the combine. And since I've been home, I've been working with Mike Strohshine just on a one-on-one -on -one basis, and that's been really good as well. What are your expectations for the draft? Uh, just getting drafted, uh, the fifth, sixth round, what, what's the expectation right now? I mean, I think uh, wherever, wherever I get drafted is really not uh, in my control, but um, like I said, hopefully I get drafted, hopefully the team likes me and believes in me. Um, and then when I get drafted, I'll, I'll show the team that it's the best decision they've made. How tough is it to make that?